Keep watching Charis TV. How many of you are going to heaven? Lift up your hands. Can we stand? Those who are going to heaven. Yes. So if you look around there, people are not standing. Sit down. Those who are going to hell, <laughs> lift up your hands. Can you see the church? We are not all Christians in the church. You see, this is what you need to know. If you read the Bible, the Bible says, the wise man always think about his death. That's what the Bible says. The wise man always think about what? Is death. You are not here forever. You are not a new person here on earth. It was supposed to be a lesson to you to tell you, why must I not think about my end? I'm always thinking about what to get here. Wish I will live with someone. How many years you are left with now when you are here? You don't know, isn't it? Eh? But you live like you live 1,000 years. Even your plans now is of next year and two years to come. Did you ever plan after 50 years to come? Ask your neighbor, what is your plan after 50 years to come? You'll be planning in the grave. You'll be planning. You want to end here in the grave. You want to go to heaven. Now when you die, what will happen? Are you still going to fight God there? Or are you going to be with God? So this is our mistake today. We are Christians, but in the church, how many Christians? Some hands are like this. Others are like that. Another one is behind someone's head like this. So we need to go back to God. Tell them, let's go back to God. Ask your name, are you sure you're a Christian? Liars. There are many in the church. They are able to lift up their hands. Even the Bible says, when you lift up your hands in the book of Isaiah, I will hide my face. Because people have been lifting up their hands before God. But God has been saying, oh God, that person is back again. From today when you come to church, check yourself because, hey, I don't know. You know, it's frightening, it's really frightening to find that you came to church here and we talk about this and then tonight you die. And whereas you are not even sure about your Christian life. Those are people that don't have fear of God today. It's frightening to find that you are in the church, you are speaking in tongues that you created. But tonight you die. The question is, where, what were you saying before God? Because everybody is hearing you, but God is not hearing you. So we need to be honest with ourselves. Tell them, be honest with yourself. When you are honest with yourself, face reality about your weak points. I've, I'm weak here. I've got short temper. God, help me. I want to repent. Oh, I cannot forgive. Help me. Than to pretend. I don't know if you're hearing me. Than to pretend to be a Christian. And you are coming here. I mean... I mean, you are wasting time. Be honest with yourself. Is this tongue from the Holy Spirit or is it for myself? Okay, why I say I'm praying, is it because I want to be a pastor or I'm a, I need my fellowship with the Holy Spirit? Okay, why I have a message, is it because I want to preach? The day I don't preach, I don't have a message. The day you're going to preach, the whole night, you don't sleep. The whole night, 
you are trying to, you are like that. It's like you are going to write exam tomorrow. The day you are not preaching on Monday, you sleep. Be honest with yourself. Is it a profession to be a Christian? Is it a profession to be a pastor? If you are honest with yourself, you'll go to God now. You'll fear him now. You'll be able to know that I have to fear what? God now. Say, so God, no, I'm honest with you. This is wrong. That I'm doing. I don't want to do it. God will give you a conscience which is alive. The reasons why you are not growing in faith is because now your conscience is dead now. Whatever you want to do, you are just passing the time. So if you come here and you say, oh, I'm a Christian, there are things I cannot do as a child of God. The first of all is, are you sure you're a Christian? Yes. So now, how do I approach God now? I must approach God by the Bible. What says the Bible? If I'm still having this, why I'm praying for this? If I'm still having this weakness, still lying, why I'm still praying to get a job? What is important now is, it's not what you want here on earth. It's where you're going. Whatever you want here on earth here will pass one day. And you won't pass. You, you won't pass. So all these things will pass that you are crying for. So what you need to do as a Christian is, oh, I'm a child of God. What I need now is what? I must be honest with myself. If God can say to a prophet, you, I don't know you. A deliverer, you, I don't know you. A work of a miracle, you, I don't know you. It means you can still do that. Because you are not honest with yourself, you find that God is rejecting you. Tell him, I want to be honest with myself. Even before you open your Bible to read, the question is, why are you reading? Who are you? Don't read the Bible when you've got grudges. You're wasting time. If you're honest with yourself, you deal with your inside before you deal with outside. The Bible is outside. When you read it, you want it to be inside. But inside, you are still dirty. So be honest with yourself so that when you read the Bible, it will enter inside you. Otherwise, inside you, there's going to be World War Three, Because now you are putting the Bible here and you have put Satan inside. What will happen with you? You will explode first. You become honest with yourself. Even when you pray, your prayer will have power. The scripture is having the power inside of it. It, it generates power. Are you hearing me? So when you put it inside here, there will be power in your soul. The Spirit of God will come and dwell there. Because the scripture here and the word of God, let me see, the scripture and the Holy Spirit cannot be separated. So when you try to do that, the Spirit of God will come inside you, inside you, and become very strong. Now when you speak, you find it's no longer you speaking, it's God speaking. I'm praying that from today, you people here. Because some of you, you are, this Bible, you don't even open it. But today you brought them. The last notes you wrote is of Sunday. It's not true. Eh? The last notes you wrote here is of Sunday. 